Hey guys, this is Chris. I'm here with Marty. Hey. We're at the Snail Booth, yeah. and you just got your hands on a pretty cool phone. I did. It's uh, the W3D, uh, and the cool thing about it is that it is the most gaming-heavy phone uh, I've ever gotten my hands on. And so this is an Android phone. Uh, you can use it. You're going to be able to use it uh, when it releases. It's uh, Q2 in China after Q2 in non-China. Uh, <laughs> Everywhere but, else. <laughs> uh, but the phone, uh, so it is a phone, it's a completely unlocked phone, but it's also a gaming device, and it the controls on the side, it resembles a Vita. Yeah, it looks almost kinda like a Vita, yeah. Kinda, kinda looks like a Vita, a but like a Vita. It, it felt really good. It has the two dual analog sticks, it has a D-pad, it has the four face buttons, it has shoulder buttons. Uh, and the thing is, so we were playing uh, an MMO, and evidently an Android MMO. Do you remember what it was called? It was called Tai Chi Panda. Tai Chi Panda. TCP? TCP. <laughs> I uh, and I was, it's, it was an MMO, and it was in Chinese, and I'm like, I don't, what, like, who am I playing against? And he said China. So evidently, I was online with this thing playing against China. Which uh, is awesome which in is and of itself. Which is super awesome in and of itself. Uh, but they said it's going to be compatible with the entire Android library. One of the cool things is when you download a game, there is uh, software inside of this device where you're going to be able to... Uh, very easily uh, swap touch controls and then you know place them wherever you want them in the uh, in the device itself. So it's gonna be like movement is going to be on the D-pad and wow. in a soccer game shoot is gonna be X and pass be is gonna be circle. You're gonna be able to set it up. So you know there's always that weird sort of transition between uh, well when touchpad becomes analog uh, yeah. gameplay, but this seemed to really work. And so yeah, they were saying you know they're making a huge push uh, into GDC and into E3. You know trying to sign a lot of really rad developers and they're very serious about this. Yeah. Uh, so of, you know, they're they're starting in China, which is a smart market to chart start in. I mean, uh, mobile gaming in China is huge. Yeah. Tai Chi Panda in China is probably <laughs> huge. Off the hook for the Y two K. The TCPs. Yes, the TCPs. <laughs> uh, and this is a big thing. And they said that this is this. They want this to be sort of the new frontier in. Uh, it's also three D. Yeah. It's also three D. Glasses free. Eye tracking three D. So when I was tilting it a little bit to the side, it was two D. But if I started focusing on it, it knew that I was looking at it, and it became 3D. Which is kind of scary, because it's like those ghosts in Mario World, where if you're looking at them, they don't exist. And if you're not looking at them, they're trying to spook you. It's like the ghost in Mario World looks like a Vita, plays like awesome. Yeah. I'm We're excited, excited, for, I'm excited for all this. We're going to have a lot more on this. Yeah, we'll definitely see this at E3. Mm -hmm. But for everything more on CES, stay here at IGN.com.